Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo and I've got another video for you guys. I have a fun one today because we're going to be talking about a rumor that is twofold. The rumor here is that Charlie Hunnam is in talks to star as Wolverine in a Wolverine solo MCU film. This also is news because we did not know they were planning to do a Wolverine standalone MCU film. This is really big. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that in the X-Men videos that I've done or the Mutants Explained in the MCU or any of those videos whatsoever, I've mentioned every single time that I think Wolverine should get his own property, his own film, his own show, whatever it is, it needs to be separate from the main X-Men for a good amount of time because he overshadows the X-Men and his story tends to override a lot of that which the directors and storytellers try to put forth with the rest of the team. The rest of the team needs their own time. This is good news for me. If this rumor happens to be true, then I'm very, very excited for the direction that the MCU is going to take the X-Men. I always have been, but this to me is a step in a very good direction, giving Wolverine his own stories so that the X-Men can have their own time to shine, their own light, and we can fall in love with those characters in a separate path then we fall in love with Wolverine for different reasons. It's going to be really good. I think this is going to allow them to flourish. But anyway, if this rumor is true, and I'm going to show you guys the rumor right now, it also means Charlie Hunnam is in talks to play Wolverine. So let's get right to the article. I'm going to make this fast. So again, there's not a lot to look at here. The article is very short because again, this is a rumor from an anonymous source. So we're going to just take a look at really quickly what the rumor is, and then we'll just talk about it very briefly. So... A source close to the initial studio casting talks for a possible new Wolverine standalone film is reporting that Charlie Hunnam is a frontrunner to play our favorite Claude superhero. Charlie Hunnam's most notable role is the FX original series Sons of Anarchy as biker gang leader Jax Teller. The series ended in 2014. Um, you guys, that's really there's really not a lot to this. I'm going to go ahead and just read it for you. The rights for the X-Men franchise, including its individual character properties, are now in the hands of Disney. With Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 3 uh, being completed with the release of Avengers Endgame, Marvel and Disney are now looking to create a new Phase 4 universe with Captain Marvel and Spider-Man leading the early charge. This leaves the door open for a new character in team productions, including X-Men, Wolverine, and Fantastic Four. Would Charlie Hunnam make a good Wolverine? That is the question. I think he would make an excellent choice. I personally agree. We'll keep you posted on any developments or other uh, or official announcements. So that's what the article has to say here. Really not a lot. Basically, they're just saying they heard from an anonymous source in this or in or close to the studio that Charlie Hunnam is in talks to play Wolverine in a Wolverine solo MCU film. It's not standalone. It's not per se like on its own apart from the MCU. It will be in the MCU. However, its story will function like its own film inside of the MCU, just like how Iron Man 1 didn't involve a lot of other heroes or like say Captain America the First Avenger didn't involve a lot of other heroes. It basically tells his story. So he's going to get his own film. This to me is very, very good news. I've been saying this since the very beginning of my channel. I think that when the X-Men join the MCU, you need to keep Wolverine out of the X-Men for a little bit. Give him his own ride. Tell his stories. I don't want them to not tell his stories. I love Wolverine. But you need to separate the two. There needs to be the X-Men over here, and there needs to be Wolverine over here. And that can lead into more build-up, team-up, crossovers. You can have Wolverine in the Avengers for a little bit, even before the X-Men join up. That could cause a lot of stir, a lot of chaos. You might be able to tell an X-Men versus Avengers very interestingly that way in the MCU. Could happen down the line, 10, 15 years. Who knows how long it'll take to get to that point. Maybe they start with that. Who knows? But that's not why I'm talking about this. Let's go ahead and take a look at Charlie Hunnam really quick. If you guys aren't familiar with Sons of Anarchy, you guys have probably seen him in King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, or possibly Papillion or Pacific Rim. He's been in a lot of things. He's six foot one, so again, he's approximately the same height as Hugh Jackman, which is not where I wanted to go with the casting. But again, I do think Charlie Hunnam is a good choice for Wolverine. Um, if you guys have seen uh, my fan castings for Wolverine, you know that he is one of those choices that I think is a good option. 39 years old, I think is a good age for Wolverine. Some guys I know online, you guys probably want a much younger Wolverine. I would personally disagree with that. I think that Wolverine needs to be a little bit older 
I know that his healing factor is going to allow him to basically be played by anybody. If you want someone older to play Wolverine, you can totally do that. If you want someone that's younger to play Wolverine, you can get away with that because age isn't really a thing for Wolverine. It doesn't really matter. So if you want him to feel like a 40-year-old man, he's still going to be like 200 years old approximately. Or if you want him to feel you know, like a 30-year-old man, he's still going to be 200 years old approximately. So it doesn't really matter who you cast, although I would prefer someone that feels a little bit more mature, yet not so mature that they feel like old man Logan. So I think Charlie Hunnam is right in that pocket. Right at 39 years old, that's really good. Six foot one, again, too tall for my taste, but I do like Charlie Hunnam. And I think that if you can make Hugh Jackman work, you can make Charlie Hunnam work. I don't think it's too much of a stretch there. But it w I would personally prefer someone that is shorter, 5'8", five, 5'5", five, five, even if you can get like Scott Kahn. But again, this is not a fan casting video. I'm going to try to keep this brief. I wanted to show you guys a quick art piece for Charlie Hunnam done by the great Boss Logic, who you should definitely follow on Instagram and Twitter. This is his Instagram, Boss Logic. Take a look at this image. How awesome is that? So they basically took this, he took this image here. See that one on the right? The colored one with the brown jacket? He took that image and removed the mustache and increased the sideburns and allowed there to be a little bit more shape on the hairline to adjust to make it feel more Wolverine-esque. And then he just black and whited it and added the dog tags. So he made some minor adjustments there but it looks really, really good. I really like this image. I think this looks like a really cool Wolverine. Very, very um, classic feel. Um, not necessarily like uh, the same look or feel as like the 90s X-Men TV series, which we all love and adore. Even though that's my preference, I would still take this. I think this is really good. I would hope that, you know, if they're going to play him like a slightly taller person. They do him kind of like how they did him in X-Men Evolution where he is a little bit more of a mentor figure. Um, once he finally teams up with some X-Men, maybe he just has that connection with Kitty Pride, Shadowcat, like a daughter almost. And then uh, they're able to just play him in that way. Because X-Men Evolution didn't have a short Wolverine. He was fairly normal, a little bit shorter than Cyclops, not drastically shorter. And so in that same way, you can get away with someone play who's 6'1 playing this, this role. So... In my opinion, I think it still works. I think it's good. And Boss Logic did a really, really sick edit, even though he didn't have to change a whole lot. Um, what he did change looks very good. And I really like this, this look for Charlie Hunnam for Wolverine. So anyway, again, this is just a rumor. Let me just go ahead and clarify before we wrap this up. This whole thing with Charlie Hunnam is hearsay from someone with an anonymous source, all right? So again, the article that I found is from nerdbot.com. I'll put the link to the article down below, but again, they do not cite their anonymous source. Of course, they're, they're allowed to do so, but we have to take this with not one, but two grains of salt, okay? So just because it's said out there on the internet that this is a rumor or that this is happening does not mean that it's happening until we hear from a studio, okay? So unless we can get confirmation from a source, this is just rumors. So as exciting as this is, as much as I like this, I want to hear from you guys. I want to let you guys know what we're hearing and then get feedback from you. So tell me what you guys think about Charlie Hunnam possibly playing Wolverine in a solo outing MCU film. How do you feel about that? Do you guys like the idea of a, of a Wolverine solo film inside the MCU? Do you think that'll help to expedite getting the X-Men into the MCU if you can just drop them in one at a time? Do you like those ideas or would you prefer that Wolverine joins in with the X-Men? Let me know all these things down in the comments below. Click those links, follow Boss Logic, and again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please, Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time or when I upload a new video so you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all the subscriptions and the likes and the comments. Let me know what you think about all this down below and I can't wait to hear from you. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.
Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.